Hi, my name is Diva and let's make my homemade bread. Look how gorgeous she is. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make my everyday homemade bread. You could call this, we call it roti, but I know roti traditionally doesn't have any yeast in it, but we do add yeast to it, but it's not like naan, because naan has other kinds of stuff. Anyways, it's bread and it's good and it's easy. So let me show you how to make it because so many of you have asked me for my homemade bread recipe. Anyways, you're gonna take some atta first. This is hands down the best atta brand. It's called Share Drum Atta, Desi style. Anyway, so you're gonna take about however much flour you want. I think I have about three cups in here because I'm making like a bunch of dough. Like I just wanna make like a bunch of dough is what I'm trying to make. So there's like no def definitive measurement. So like just take like a bunch of atta. <laughs> And then to that, I'm gonna add in some salt, like a, sp like a splash of salt. I would say two to three teaspoons. And I'm gonna add two to three teaspoons of quick rice yeast. You can use traditional yeast, other yeast as well, but I'm using quick rice because it makes my life easier. So yeah, two to three teaspoons of that. I just measure with my, with my eyeballs and my heart, like every brown woman on the planet. And you're basically done. Now I'm just gonna add in water and knead until it forms a dough. Okay, now I'm just kneading until it forms a dough. I would say that the dough should be neither too sticky nor too not sticky. I don't know what the right word for that is. Some, like somewhere in the middle, I would say. I will show you what it looks like because it's hard for me to explain these things because it's just something I do every day, you know? But yeah, I would say more on the stickier side than not sticky because the dough is gonna rise and activate with the yeast, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind. Oh my god, this is a good arm um, workout. So... If you were thinking of going to the gym today, you don't have to anymore. Okay, so yeah, this is the consistency that I'm going for. So I would say, yeah, it's not too sticky, but not too not, st I don't know what the word for not sticky is. But yeah, there you go, that's the dough. Okay guys, now that the dough is done, you're gonna let that rise for a couple of hours. I would say four hours at least. So I'm gonna use that dough later and I already have my dough from last night that I needed. So this is what it looks like. It's very yeasty, I can smell it. And yeah, this is what the texture of the dough is like. So I would say not, I wouldn't say it's very sticky, you know, it's like perfect. Like once the yeast activates with the dough, it'll become not sticky. Like it's like, I feel like the perfect dough to play with. But yeah, what I usually do is I knead the dough during the nighttime and I just put it in the fridge and let it rise overnight. Like that's what I usually do. But if you let it rise for a couple of hours during the day, that should be fine as well. Anyways, now we're gonna form our ball of dough and you're gonna put your oven on broil high and have your tava, your pan, on the stove heated up. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make my roti now. And I'm gonna make sure it's circular so that people know that I'm a good, I'm gonna be a good housewife in the future. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, in South Asian culture, people say really stupid things. And one of the stupid things is that people determine how good of a housewife you'll be, depending on how circular your bread is. This is called a belen. This is what my mom used to <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna roll the dough now. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, now you guys wanna see my special trick? Look at me. Mamma mia! Should I throw it up in the air? Should I try? Fuck, I'll fuck it up. 
No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on my stove. Let me just show you guys. This is the bread and we're gonna let, the, let it cook from the bottom and then we're gonna put it in our oven on broil so that it cooks on the top as well. And at this point, you're gonna wanna make, I'll just do it for you guys here, like holes in the bread. This ensures that it cooks properly and like doesn't like rise and like not cook. Cause yeah, I don't know, but that's how my mommy does it <laughs> and it works. I don't know the science behind it, but make holes in your dough, in your bread. I let it cook from the bottom. Another thing you'll notice about me is that I don't wear oven mitts or anything. That is my superpower. I don't feel any heat. Ugh. Okay, let's see if it's, see it's like cooking from the bottom. It's getting a bit brown. I'm gonna let it get a bit more brown. Okay, once it's cooked from the bottom, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay, we're gonna slide it in like a pizza. And close it and let the broil do its magic. Yeah, it usually it's gonna cook really fast, so keep a close eye on it because we are cooking it on high broil. And the amount of times I've burned stuff on high broil. <laughs> okay, anyways, it should cook for about one to two minutes, but yeah, keep a close eye on it. I got my eyes on you. Okay guys, look at this bread. Look how beautiful she is. Beauty queen. Yeah, so this is basically done. It's cooked on both sides. The smell right now is crazy, man. Okay, and that's it. That's how you make my everyday homemade bread, roti, naan, whatever you want to call it. It is absolutely delicious. You guys have to try it. It's super easy to make. Anyway, stay tuned for my next recipe video. I love you all so much. And let me know in the comments if I'd make a good housewife. You desi aunties, let me know. Anyways, bye.